Hey guys, welcome back to Uncanny Channel. This is my second time filming this because I'm in just such a weird mood today. I'm just kind of feeling like overall, ugh, like just like hazy and I'm not really like, I don't know. I'm gonna try it again to tell you guys a story because I think it's really, really cool and I haven't done anything quite like this yet. We're gonna be talking about the ghost ship of Northumberland Strait. The Northumberland Strait is in Eastern Canada and it's a body of water that separates Prince Edward Island from Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. And people have been sighting this ghost ship in the strait for over 220 years. While the specifics of what the encounter was like vary between the different sightings, the ship is always described in the same way, which is a three or four masted brigadine? I don't, this is a brigadine with white sails that is usually ablaze with crew members running back and forth across the deck trying to put the blaze out. Sightings of the ship take place throughout the year, but is usually sighted in the fall months, especially before a nor'easter hits. A nor'easter is like a really strong wind or storm that comes from the northeast, and they usually get them in like the New England area. It's kind of a term around there for that kind of storm. At times, other ships in the area will sail out to assist the flaming ship only to arrive and find that the ship is gone. One of the most notorious rescue attempts took place in 1900 in the Charlotteville Harbor when some sailors spotted the blazing ship out in the harbor and piled into a rowboat to go meet the ship and try to rescue crew members. But when they arrived, obviously, the ship had vanished. They even launched a thorough investigation into the ship using divers to see if they could find a shipwreck or bodies or something like that, and no trace of any shipwreck was ever found. Something that's interesting too about the sightings is that they aren't really like glimpses or glances. Some of them can last for a long period of time. In 1912, one woman reported that she and her young son watched the ship for about 30 minutes as it approached them on the shore. Then when it arrived, it burst into flames and disappeared. Not only does the ship appear to groups of one or two people, they also appear to large groups of people. Before the Confederation Bridge was built, there was a ferry that would take people back and forth across. Sightings of the ghost ship were frequently reported by the crowds riding the ferry back and forth, and even occurred as frequently as two days apart. The most recent sighting of the ship that we know of was 17-year-old Matthew Guiguer? Guiguer? Guiguer. I'll put it like here. Who reported seeing a bright white and gold ship in the area in mid January 2008. The ghost ship is super notorious in this area. Like, it's a big part of the kind of like the local lore. In 2014, as a part of a series featuring different Canadian ghost stories, the Canadian Post released a commemorative stamp featuring the ghost ship, as well as a special cancel stamp for outgoing mail from Bouctouche, New Brunswick. Like, a cancel stamp is like when you get a letter, there's like a kind of stamp over the like postage stamp to show that's been already been used that's a cancel stamp there are two sets two sets of theories related to this ghost ship the first is is the ghost ship real or is there a scientific theory to explain the ghost ship sightings and the second set is if the ghost ship is real what ship is it a ghost of first let's discuss whether or not the ship is real the first theory is that the ship is the result of a crescent moon setting beneath the horizon that might create the illusion of a burning ship. And that didn't make a lot of sense to me until I saw the clip that I'm about to play right after this that kind of shows what this phenomenon looks like and like, yeah, okay, that kind of looks like a burning ship. I can see why this is a theory. So it's that. I think this is a good theory as far as like the far away sightings, but it doesn't really explain sightings in which people see like details like the masts or the sails or people running back and forth across the deck. I feel like it doesn't really like explain those parts of the illusion. New Brunswick scientist William Francis Ganong proposed that the light described in the sightings could be the result of a naturally occurring electrical phenomenon. I didn't really understand this one because all the descriptions of it were kind of in this like antiquated scientific jargon that like I know science but I just didn't understand what they were saying with like some of these outdated terms. So I'm gonna try to explain as best I can and if I get it wrong I tried. <laughs> And uh, if you can explain it better, uh, drop me a comment, let me know what I actually should be talking about. So what it kind of sounds like to me is that there's like this electrical phenomenon and it has a flat side that faces the water and then sometimes it's stagnant and then other times it's not and it kind of like moves around and it'll create these like slender columns of electricity which could be 
like what people are seeing is the masts and then also it's reflecting off the water so maybe that is making it look a little bit more ship-like. I'm like 90% sure that that's what the theory is saying and if I'm wrong I'm sorry. I think it was like a decent theory. It's same thing I said with the other one like the details like I don't think this would create the like the illusion of deck hands running back and forth. Some rescue attempt would have like come up on this like electrical charge, right? You would think? I don't know. A different version of the electricity explanation is that this is some form of St. Elmo's fire, which is a weather phenomenon in which luminous plasma is created by a coronal discharge when a sharp or pointed object enters an electrical field. So basically you have an object in an electrical field in the atmosphere, like a ship mast for example, and as it passes through the electrical field, it ionizes the molecules around it and it makes it have like a luminous glow. So if you have like a ship that's passing through this electrical field, it could potentially start to glow and if it glows bright enough, maybe it looks like a ship on fire, it would definitely look like some kind of ghost ship because it's like this glowing mass out on the water. Um, I think this is a really good theory, especially because it would account for a lot of things like appearing to be on fire or appearing to be a ghost ship. It would account for maybe people running back and forth across the deck. If you're on the ship, you're probably freaking out and like trying to figure out if you need to like what you need to do or if anything's gonna happen at all. So you might see people running back and forth trying to like figure out what's going on. Um, and then if it eventually wears off, then by the time a rescue ship gets there, maybe it would have seemed to disappear, but it's just sailed on, but it's not glowing anymore. So you can't see where it went. I think that's a pretty good explanation as far as the scientific ones go. It's probably my favorite. The fourth theory is that it's fog in the moonlight. Like that's fine we're talking about if we're talking about sightings in the distance at night, but there's also sightings in the middle of the day, there's sightings on clear days and not just foggy days. There's also doesn't account for any of the details people seem to describe or the blazing ship or anything like that. So I kind of like uh it's fog, whatever. It's not it's not fog. Sorry. Theory five is it's a ghost ship. It's just a, a ship sank and now there's a ghost of it and it's a ghost ship. So piggybacking off that theory that the ghost ship is a ghost ship and not a scientific phenomenon, there are a lot of theories about which ship is it a ghost of and those theories kind of vary by what area around the strait you're from. A theory in New Brunswick suggests that it could be the Bark Kolbum. Bark I guess is a kind of ship and then Kolbum was the name of the ship which went down in October 1838. Another New Brunswick theory is that the ship is the John Craig which was lost off of the dangerous shipping in Shoals. In Nova Scotia, a lot of people think that the ship is the Isabella, which was a ship carrying lumber that set sail from Nova Scotia in 1868. The ship was last seen by a lightkeeper on Amet Island, and they don't know if it was lost to a violent storm or if it got lost and eventually sank or what happened, but the ship was never seen again. From the Wood Island area comes the theory that the ship is the Fairy Queen, which was a steamer that wrecked off of Pictou Island in 1853, which I think is interesting because usually it's sided with masts. And I don't think that steamers have masts, at least not like, not like sail masts. They would have like smokestacks maybe. And I'm really showing how little I actually know about ships. A general theory in the area is that it could be an old immigrant ship of Highland Scots who got lost looking for new land and eventually sank. A really specific theory is that it's a ghost of a pirate ship that was sank by a British warship during the Napoleonic Wars near Marigamish. And then my favorite theory is another pirate ship theory that it was a pirate ship that pillaged another vessel and then got into a drunken fight with another pirate ship that ended in both the ships catching fire and burning down and sinking. And it's a ghost of one of those ships. Okay, so what do you guys think? Is there a scientific explanation or is it a real ghost ship? Or do you have another theory about what it is that isn't one of the scientific theories that I mentioned before or the theory that it's an actual ghost ship? If you do think it's an actual ghost ship, do you have an opinion about which ship it might be the ghost of or do you have another shipwreck that you know of in the area, which would be a really specific thing to know that you think it might be? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe and ding the bell so you get a notification anytime I post a new video. Like this video if you think ghost ships are awesome and you want to hear more about other ones in the future. And above all else, remember that it is a wonderful thing to believe in the unbelievable. Bye guys.